Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NHW Bloody Friday. And we moved on a little bit from the Royal Farms Arena just for this pay per view. Um, we had an outside venue. We down here at the University of Maryland on the outside. They allowed us to have a have a moment. I like it. And it's okay. Just So, Cody Yamamoto teaming up with his boys this evening, Chase Ventura and C.K. Nova. They are the forms of execution, this is the first time we've seen Cody Yamamoto in a match in a while. Both his boys have wins under their belt, you know what I mean? They, uh, they, I forget who they fought, because I don't always keep up with that, I'll be honest, but... Um, they did win their matches, and um, you know Cody Yamamoto is seven and three as a singles competitor. And with that, we are going to see if they can together accomplish uh, a victory against a team that they know not of. That's right, they do not know who they are facing tonight. The CK. Uh, Nova and Chase Ventura were very, um, they were very loud in the back with the boss regarding that. And, uh, you know, hey, we know what Cody's after. Cody is after Jason Parker to become the world champion, even though Jason Parker has his hands full in the semi main event tonight. Um, oh, that's right. With each match, you will find out what the match type is. And although it will be all six men going to war as they go to war, guess what? Ain't no rules. Pins, falls count anywhere. Get your head busted from the outside to inside. Uh, we just, and I'm, it's supposed to be elimination. But I will break the fourth wall and say the last time, I, the last two times I tested it, once it was elimination, and once it wasn't. 2K, if ever you watch this, and I suspect a couple of you do from emails, um, can you fix how your settings work? Anyway, their opponents tonight. At a combined weight of 917 pounds. Holy shit. And this is the Pacific Savages coming to the ring. Uh, new group coming. Uh, well, not coming. They're here. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're on the board. Um, and they are... They're here because of someone. Um, and I'm not 100% sure who yet. I just know that they are here. And that is Tank... Uh, on the left came in, in the middle and old Oman oh, you know what I'm gonna figure out how to say his name um but for, these are a Samo a pure Samoan group oh, this is all from the Isle of Samoa well that's their lineage um I don't have a paper in front of me telling me where exactly they're actually from but anyway that ref's got a job ahead of him. Let's get to work. And they're throwing hands. And as you can tell, there's no time limits going on here. And a Samoan spike down on the other end. The back breaker going on there. And a toss over the rope there. Kind of break that punch. And there he goes. And a two count already on Cody. Cody is not the person you expect to take a pin here. I ain't even going to be honest. I mean, it is elimination, I believe. So... Uh, uh. Elbows, knees, and everything flying everywhere. And forgive the frame rate drop. That's just how 2K works. It didn't matter if I did this on uh, PC or Xbox. They just slow down. And there we have a pop-up power bomb. And uh, everybody needs somebody caught one to the chest. We got pins going on everywhere. The ref is confused. Two count. No count. 
and one getting up. All right. Tank gonna take a moment, go outside, but Cody's like, nah, bro, come get these hands. And, oh, he bricked it. CK went f for the uh, for the springboard cutter. And now Cody trying to mutilate some finger pieces. And, oh, shot to the back there. And it looks like CK and Chase are jumping at one of them. I'm, okay, so Cayman's over there. And he's about to hit him with that. Everybody knew because everybody uses that knee. Man, and now uh, came and going to get him some, throw him some hands, and Cody on the bottom getting handled on the inside. Poor referee has to try to keep up with all this action. And he is getting straight. He's doing reps. His spine isn't supposed to bend like that, sir. Oh, man. Drops him down on his face. And Tank is still in the ring, working him over. He came and outside with the two count Cody in the ring getting pinned and the ref trying to keep up with all this as he didn't even get a one count due to the timing and now going up and oh big suplex and I oh ooh say it all suplex one two only a two count and Death Rider. A double underhook DDT on the outside. Okay, this is elimination. Ooh. And he was able to get rid of one of the competitors. And introduced one to a pole. Threw Cody outside the ring. And is he all right? And ooh, and look at the ref. Ref trying to make moves, but they're blocking him. Smart move, kinda. He just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna count it from here." And only a two. <laughs> oh man, he's like, I can't get over it. He's like, let me walk over here by these two. Oh, the spear out of nowhere from Tank. And now he's going to lift him up. Sends him over. And, oh, pile drivers everywhere you turn. And he slides right into the pin. And they need to be looking out. One, two, and CK Nova. Or, I'm sorry, Cody Yamamoto. One, two, only a two count as Cody Yamamoto was eliminated first. And he just sent him for, oh, well, God, Chase got sent for a ride. And now it's down to two and two. And, oh, God, that neck breaker. And he goes right into the pin. One, two. Only a two count as Chase got his back dropped into the barricade. Now he's getting sent for a ride. Oh, man. Boy, I thought he was about to dive off the ropes. CK just got his face planted in the Mother Earth. Man, I'm not sure where Cayman is going. Okay. Oh, big needed chase. Bust him open. No, oh, he said meet me in the ring, bro. With the crotch chop. Oh. And oh, he's going for the sleeper hold. Oh, big elbow there to chase. He busted open the side of his head. Oh, man, it's just a break free. 
Oh, a double foot stomp to the back there. Ah, another one. Ah, and a full Nelson slam. And going for the pin there. Could that be the end of CK? Wow, CK. Oh my god, he just he just power bombed him off the fucking Tank is definitely the power of this group. And he just power bombed my man off the now. See this is where it gets ugly. He going to jump him. Oh well. Holy damn, he knocked him out with that. Holy Jesus. And Tank able to get rid of two of the men and um, Yo, did he really he just like launched him in oblivion the the outsider's edge Ego's edge tanks edge I don't know what he calls it all I know mm, 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 mm. All I know is that he knocked his ass out and uh, Yeah, that that happened um, In their first rodeo as a triple threat um, they lost to the Pacific Savages. Maybe we'll find out who they belong to later. Not celebrating with them. This game so broken. Anyway, congratulations. And let's get on to the next matchup. And now you know how these matches go. This is the uh, knockout title. And that is the former champion, Sabrina, on her way to the ring, getting her rematch. Um, literally due to the fact that, that um, the match was wonky. It didn't go down how it was supposed to go down. But you know that Evelyn Black is looking for her um rematch as well like let's be honest she was uh never given one so you know but there's also the tv title you know, and a couple other championships running around here um but we are very happy with the ladies and how they've been uh producing around here you know what i mean there's been a big talk in the community about women's wrestling and uh hey uh i think we put on a pretty good product for the ladies you know gave them their own show so that they could get into the mix um and we'll see, you know, what happens with this here. As Sarah Parker comes to the ring, and she is the current reigning defending knockout champion. And, like, this is legitimately take out your weapons and beat. Why is it so faded on the. Nope. As. When I tested it, it was not faded, but it is faded now. Okay, but anyway, there is your champion, Sarah Parker, coming to the ring, and um, with Chainsaw in hand, but I mean, these are her type of matches, but this time, it is correct, this is a knockout match, this is straight up, throw up some fists, and let's get it going. <laughs> She's carrying that chainsaw around, and you see Sabrina's face out there like, what? What the hell am I getting myself into? Um, we're not sure. We're very much not sure. Um, but we know that she is the champion and she's not going to give it up lightly. So let's get these introductions out the way. Is that stain? There it is. Talk to us, announcer guy. Introducing the challenger from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Introducing the champion from London, England. She is the women's extreme champion, Sarah Parker. And Sarah Parker here. Um, as Sabrina was able in that knockout elimination chamber match to take the title from, um, at the time, an undefeated Evelyn Black. And uh, since then, uh, held the title up until last week. And now she's going to get her opportunity to get it back. There it is. There's the ref. 
There's Sarah, there is Sabrina, there is the ref. And here we go, and as you can tell, there are no time limits going on here. We are here for the action. And a big go behind it. Oh, the German suplex. Throwing her down nice and hard. And your opponent is to knock, it. well, the objective is to knock your opponent out, not call him a loser. But, I mean, if, you know, whatever you got to do. Sabrina with the knife edge and now just throwing hands and another knife edge has it hung up on the ropes. And now going for a little, well, that's a lot of bulldog. You remember last year? For anybody who watched, last year we had a first blood champion named Joey Meyer, and he won multiple matches for the first blood title with a bulldog. Ooh, nice trip takedown. And a dragon screw. And off the ropes, and oh, just a little power down. Oh, went for a kick. And the sweep of the leg again. And now just throwing hands. And the snap suplex. Uh, uh. And the throw into the corner. Oop. She said, nah, I don't I don't like the corner. It's not it's not for me, boss. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Not sure what Sarah uh, Parker is doing right there. And gonna do it again. Another big. Bulldog. Stratisfaction is what they call it. And now I'm gonna uh, try to hyper extend that elbow a little bit. She gets kicked in the face. And one of our partner companies, GWW, we've actually seen people get knocked out that way. Did she? You know, something's wrong with Sarah. She's over here hitting her with a shovel. I'll allow it. <laughs> you win by any means. No, we. Oh. Outside the ring she goes. And I'm wondering if she was thinking about taking a dive. And now they're just outside throwing hands. Oh, big shot to the back there. slide back into the ring but technically you can knock your opponent out from wherever and oh Sarah picks her up taking her for a little while mm. just dumps her down hard and back to the shovel mm. oh managed to get by the shovel oh gets kicked in the mid set uh oh oh Scissor kick on to the shovel. That that's got to hurt it. Did. And now taking the uh, trip to the top rope and catches her with the top rope. Who didn't come around? Whoa! And the black arrow, red arrow, whatever you want to call it was just okay well there you go congratulations to Sarah Parker as she has uh, retained the championship was not expecting that I, well I didn't know what to expect but I didn't think the Red Arrow would knock her out, or Black Arrow, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, congratulations to Sarah Parker on continuing as the knockout champion.
The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the Extreme Championship. And now here we go with um <laughs> with uh a little bit of a uh, first blood action. Kids, you can't have a pay per view where literally every match is gonna have some sort of stipulation and not have the first blood champion out here. What kind of nonsense bullshit? Anyway. Now coming to the ring is Ben Frame with the Black Label Society that has grown in numbers um, as of late with um, Adam Eaton and the Outsider joining him. And I guess Ben said that he is going to show what a leader does as he is coming to the ring to get an opportunity, I believe his second opportunity at the um, First Blood Championship, a title that Trevor Hannibal has had quite the grasp on. Let's be honest. We can look at his record here. And as first blood champion, he is 6-1. and one. He has lost one time. And that was the match that was supposed to be first blood and wound up being a finisher only match. Something like that. I don't know. All I know is that when he gained it from Derek Smith, who will be getting an opportunity at the European Championship following this match, um, he ain't let go since. That man said he wanted blood, make him drip, and uh, dang, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> uh, so we'll see uh, what he can do. We haven't seen a lot of Ben. He's been more of a Shadow Realm person this time. If I'm being honest, um, Adam Eaton is three and three. He's one and four. Outsiders one and four. Stone ain't won a match the first, and the Kane is one and zero in singles competition. The Black Label Society as a whole is one and two. So this is not faring well in their favor. But comma, we will see if he can get that turned around today because the rules for the first blood championship haven't really been defined. I feel like it's the first person that comes out here. You're like all standing in gorilla, and <laughs> yeah, you're all standing in gorilla. And uh, boss man says, "All right, who wants to go bleed?" And the first person to go running out there gets a shot at the first blood championship. And I, Trevor, I remember when the title was shown. Uh, Trevor made sure that he was like, "Holy crap, that looks cool." I remember it. He can't hide it. I got messages. I remember. Anyway, um, and that is, you know, uh, the title we've been rolling with. And the title that we will be rolling with. I doubt very seriously that the owner, and I'm saying this from knowing him for a long time, I doubt most of these titles will ever change again. It's just not, uh, it's not fun. Um, And we will see now uh, what he can do. And of course, it covers that up, but that is the NHW First Blood Championship. All tore up, beat up, and here we go. can see from use me you can see from the uh, from the scars on uh, Trevor's body that uh, this is what he does the man does blood and there it is the first blood championship with the tape I wonder I wonder if he has to retape it every time <laughs> You know, right before he comes out, he's got to, like, throw some tape on it. Um, and now throwing hands. Jesus, mercy. 
That is right. This is his second opportunity at the uh, First Blood Championship. Uh, the first time was in a uh, was in a triple threat, and oh my god! And if Trevor Hannibal is to lose tonight the First Blood title, um, I was just being told in my ear that uh, he will have some options as to what he can do going forward. And I'm sure that that will make uh, Trevor a very happy boy and possibly uh, make sure that the uh, the boss gets his burgers. Because the boss loves burgers. It just, it just it is what it is. Um, and uh, now stretching the face out, trying to get a little blood out of it. And with Trevor wearing half his face in red, you wonder... If that's helped him out, like if he's bled before and nobody knew. And he waited for him to come in to slap the shit out of him. Like he just, ooh, working on the knee. But again, this isn't really a, oh my God, this isn't really a. Yo, is that sweat flying up off of him? All right. Russian leg sweep into the hands. I think he made somebody bleed like that once. I might be tripping. Huh. But we know that, uh... We know that this is, uh... What was I gonna say? I don't remember. Oh, there it is. The everybody needs and everybody uses that knee and... Oh, he's going to the top rope. Oh, he went up there kind of quick. Um, sir? Okay. that That's enough of that. Oh, went for something there and was caught. Ooh, lead in the face from Ben. And Ben throwing hands, giving him a little bit of combo action. And now says, if I'm going to make him bleed, I might need a little help to do it. And goes and gets him a baseball bat. All right. And starts us uh, swinging away. Ooh, kick to the gut. Oh no, takes him up. And in a normal match, he would have finished it off right there. That is the, probably only the second time we've seen his finisher this year. Oh look, he's got the everybody knee. Folded his face like an omelet. Uh oh. Ooh, drops him down hard with the assisted Famouser. I call it assisted because he had his arm trapped. And is he going to do it again? No, he's going to... Oh, I thought he was going to pile drive him. Good lord. Oh, wait, hold on. All right. Trevor with the strength. Showing a little bit of the games as he goes back to slapping the sh tar out of him. Oh, and then, you know, breaking his back. And now Trevor... Is stalking his prey, waiting for him to rise. And uh oh, been able to escape him. Whee! He ran him over with that knee. I don't care who you are. He slid that. The crowd chanted. <laughs> the crowd chanted they want Tate. And they kind of sort of got him. Oh, man. And now lifts him up. And Ben is giving him a fight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Seep, seep, seeper. Sleeper slam. And then the big knee to the face. Trying to get Trevor to bleed is... I feel like trying to get Trevor to bleed is like trying to get people to agree on... Um, something like pineapple on pizza. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got those who will say that they like pineapple on pizza. And, you know, you have those that... Oh, oh. Take that knife edge chop. I would say they don't like pineapple on pizza. And now he's just clubbing the hell out of him. And just washing his face. Uh-oh. Off the ropes. This could be it. There it is. Oh, my God. Trevor Hannibal just face washed him into oblivion and he probably had all kinds of <laughs> he probably had all kinds of uh, uh, 
things he wanted to do with that uh, with that table, but he decided to finish it off by washing his face and continuing his dominance. Seven wins, all as first blood champion. And hey, gold is hard to come by, so when you get it, hold on to it. Congrats, Trev. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. The European title that could have very well been the main event if you ask me. Um, <laughs> Derek Smith, Jason Ramirez 2. Uh, in the first match, Derek Smith here was able to win, but it was not for the title. And trust me, uh, there's a lot going on here. Um... RJ Kidd and uh, Kojak have been banned from ringside uh, for this matchup because uh, there's just been a lot of foolery going on as far as the European Championship goes. And, um, you know, if, if, if Derek Smith is going to win, Jesus, what was that? Sorry, boss told me to turn that off, but I didn't listen. Um, but, uh, if, uh, you know, if, if uh, either one of them come out here, they will forfeit any opportunity at the European Championship. And um, <laughs> there was a little rumor in the back that, um, that uh, RJ and um, Kojak would be on the card tonight, but they decided to uh, go to scrapping in the back since they couldn't come out for this match and uh, both of them have been escorted off the perimesis um, so you know uh, Jason Ramirez here uh, the European champion the man who was able to defeat and dethrone PK King uh, that was a I wasn't supposed to happen like that but he was able to dethrone PK King uh, for the European championship and now he holds it around his waist. That's a great looking title. Um, and we'll see if he can keep it. You know what I mean? Um, uh, we, we can tell that he's ready to go, ready to ride. And we'll see uh, exactly what he can do and pull off as we continue on with this night of action in Bloody Friday. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only normal one-on-one -on -one matchup we will have of the evening. Introducing the challenger from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 219 pounds, the All-American, Derek Smith. And introducing the champion from Swansea, Wales, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is the European Champion, the Assassin, Jason Ramirez. And Jason Ramirez, once again, uh, was able to dethrone P.K. King, and this one is for the title. And he is looking at that championship because it took Jason Ramirez quite a minute to get there, you know what I mean, with one of the better records in NHW at 6 and 3. Uh, former television champion uh, actually matches records now with Brandon Ace, who is the current TV champion. Uh, and, oh, okay, so this one, yep, this one's a regular old match, but it does have a 20 minute time limit. That is the stipulation. They have to get done within 20 minutes. But other than that, there will be no disqualification. Well, there is disqualifications, rope breaks, and all that good stuff on. And knife edge chops apparently too. We're now going to take the champ for a little stroll to the ropes. And throwing hands with him on the ropes. Jason gets off but falls over trying to get away. And now getting that knee worked on. And right now Derek Smith is on top of him. It's game. And uh, you got to think that Derek has only held one title. 
here in NHW, and that was the uh, the first blood champion. I was going to say hardcore championship. I mean, uh, the first blood championship, and you know he wants to add some more NHW gold to his resume as well, and the European title. Uh, will not lie, is a workhorse title around here. PK made sure of that. If you didn't do anything else. That title was always defended, and he made sure that a fight broke out when it was time to defend that title. And now with his knee on his back, his foot under the rope, so the break happens. He's going to lift him up, throwing him, or knocking him around, I should say, and powers him up. And to the standard power slam. And a couple kicks to the face. A little uh, gesture to the midsection. And now going for the pin. <clears throat> okay. I was, I was going to do a count. Ooh, that had to hurt. Dropping the knee with nobody home. And a Northern Lights suplex without the pin. Good wing, ring awareness there because Jason Ramirez's foot was def definitely under the ropes. Now gonna send it. Oh no, he's not. Oh, oh, off the ropes into the big lariat. Runs over Jason into the pin. One, two. Only a two count. And with that time limit lurking, you know these two are uh, trying to get in and out as quickly as possible. As he just never mind. I said that, and then he threw him out of the ring. Okay. Oh, big kick to the midsection from Jason. And Jason lifts him up. Oh, backbreaker. And then just a fallaway throw. That wasn't a slam. That was a fallaway throw. He just launched him. And now just kind of chilling on the inside. Waiting to see if he's going to get that count out of victory. Never mind. I spoke again. Oh, throwing the hands. And following this match will be the Eminence Championship match uh, between the villain Nez and Ophelia. And we'll see what happens with that and his head. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. You know, we thought it was going to be Trinity, but Trinity has, oh God, some issues to work out. And... Um, couldn't get it done, which is a shame and unfortunate, but um, as soon as we have an update on the training, we'll be sure to let everybody know as Jason goes out and resets the count, lifting up Derek, and every, the, the last time these two were in the ring together, oh my goodness, the last time these two were in the ring together, they put on an absolute wrestling clinic, and I don't think they're trying to disappoint here. Oh. As he introduces him to the announce table down there by the ring. And that the re his head getting slammed off is exactly why my behind is up where I'm at. Screw all that being down there. We're at the count of six as he gets pushed off. And now he's swinging hands again. And could these two get counted out? Nope. And Derek was like, nah, let's get back in the ring. Lifts up Jason. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's got him in the cross face. Got it tight, but the rope break happened as soon as he... And now going for the pin. Will Derek be able to do it here? Only a two count. As we're going to continue on with this match. And these two are really going for it here. And uh-oh, oh. I was like, what's he doing? Taking it for another stroll. Snap near. Off the ropes, just field goal kicking, double foot stomp, slides right into the pin, one, two, and still only a two count. Jason Ramirez is not going to lose without a fight. And now just busting their head up off the ground, Jason getting the back of that, oh, there goes an elbow, we're going to drop a second one, we got a third one, alright, we got a third one. Oh, I thought he was going to keep going. Mm. Then gets kicked on the side of the head. And now being assisted to his feet for the Cyano suplex. And just tossed him on his neck. 
And now Jason throwing him into the corner. To the second rope. And now, oh, oh, trying to pull his arm out of place. And the ref didn't even get to start the count of the break. The damage might already be done, even though he's swinging with it still. Hangs Derek up on the rope. Jason Ramirez, again, he's the champ for a reason. And now working on that arm that he just tried to snap. Oh, my goodness. It's going to dislocate his elbow. It's going to be hard for him to get that shoulder up. So he used the other shoulder. Smart man. That left arm that Derek Smith has been worked on. And now Jason is calling his shot. Oh, he missed. And the snap super, the snap drumming into a pin. Good Lord, I can't even talk. Barely a one count. And Jason back to his feet. And oh, he's got him now. Nowhere to go. The ropes are out of range unless he can get turned around. And he is snatching his head back. He said, go to sleep. Oh, he let him go. And now going to the top rope. What does Derek have in mind here? He said, get your ass up. And uh, no water in the pool. Whatever he just went for. Oh, kick to the gut. The double underhooks are in. And, uh, not sure what that was, but that should, yeah, I was about to say, that should be a rope break. Um, no, oh, there's that kick. A little Spanish fly. Yeah, okay, I like it. And still only a two count. Wow. And the bottom rope moonsault. Kicked him in the side of the head. Ripcord into the Spanish fly. And could not get the three count. And he might have taken too long trying to get himself together. But now he said, you tried it last time, now it's my turn. Calls him to his feet. And the meteor on both knees to the chest. And then drops a knee to the face. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost 10 minutes into this matchup. And he said, I'm going to do it again. Going to the well for a second time. Absolutely no water in the well. And Derek Smith back on the attack. Wee! Up and over with the big German suplex. Now dragging him away from the ropes. Want to make sure. Even flips him away from the rope. Goes for the pin. One, two. And still only a two count. And these two, like I said the last time, they put on a clinic. And they're still putting on a clinic. Oh, working on the knee of him there. And uh-oh, went for a kick. And got reversed into a clothesline. And now has to eat these knees from Jason Ramirez. The assassin putting them assassin-type knees to the side of the head of, of Derek Smith. Ooh, kick to the gut. Oh, he got him again. But the ropes are going to not play into his favor. Yep, see, I told you. And now hooks the leg so close. Jason, if you just turn your head. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new European champion. Um, huh. <laughs> oh, jeez, Jason Ramirez um, and Derek Smith just put on a hell of a show. I thought that Spanish Spanish, woo, Spanish fly was going to be it, but no, it was not. Uh, Derek Smith, and look at him, just tired. Derek Smith absolutely tired after that hellacious battle. That was a fight fight. You understand what I'm saying? Congratulations, Mr. Smith. Uh, we, like I said, we got the Eminence title next. So uh, let's get to it. Congrats again, Derek. Wow, what a match. And now. 
now coming to the ring is well this is weird the champion coming out first as Nez uh, the current reigning defending eminence champion coming to the ring and uh, we'll see oh there she comes with the belt in her hand and we will see uh, what she can do uh, she has uh, Ophelia tonight and um, that championship in her hand has uh caused some uh, some stirrings since she got here and uh, yeah you know you see that fade I, I don't like it but anyway I digress she's coming to the ring with that championship in her hand and you know she's been pretty she hasn't been in a lot of matches but the matches she's been in she has made uh, she has made an impact and that's I guess what you want to do here that's how you want to handle things you want to make that impact when you when you come to the ring make sure that everybody knows who you are and what you are about and this is definitely a uh, something that Nez is uh, very good at doing she's very good at making everybody know who she is and what she's about and she stands there with the championship it's still weird to see the champion come out first first time tonight but I guess you know she wants to get in the ring um she knows who her opponent is so you know uh, after the debacle with Trinity um and all that not happening where it was supposed to uh here we are Ophelia found her way into a championship opportunity against her and Ophelia and her have a bit of a tried history in uh um VWF and I've said before, this is one of the uh, most intimidating, but at the same time, one of the best entrances. I've said before, you want to make a look that uh, stands out, and if Ophelia isn't that, then this isn't, um, then this isn't what we want to do. Um, Ophelia coming to the ring, and she's about to bust that thing over her head, isn't she? Yep, she's about to bust it over her head. Oh my god. I mean, that could, uh, I could do something, but this is uh, I'm pretty sure an extreme rules match. As I said, we have to call these matches as they are coming up. So I'm this one is an extreme rules match, so let's do what we do with that. Um, I think, I, well, I don't know. So Philly has been on a bit of a, a little tail here, and we'll see if she can continue grabbing that in championship from Nez, who uh, took it from Morgan and defended it. And this is for second defense or third? Second or third. The one is for two. I, I don't. It's not my job to count. I just write down the names of all of them. That's my job. And uh, right smack dab in the middle of the card. So, you know, <laughs> the crowd got to uh, gotta get back hyped for this. And there it is, the Eminence Championship. And look, nothing to blur it out. Let the announcer man do his job. Or not. Or he can just stand there. Yeah, he's done this before. I think these two here, he's uh, maybe a little scared? Maybe? Possibly. Who knows? Anyway, there's Ophelia. And then on the other side, just standing with that menacing stare is uh, the villain. There's the current Eminence champion. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let take a sip of this. Mountain Dew drink, Voodoo Mystery Flavor, Limited Edition. I don't know what it is, but it's good. Oh yeah, and there you go, the championship that they are both fighting for. And there's Ophelia, there is Nez, and here we go. Ophelia showing off the guns early. Nez just uh, and ooh, Nez went for a knee. Got the reversal though, and got the knee anyway. Just laid Ophelia down with that, and uh, <laughs> went for a little Totsky and got the short arm clothesline in return. And Ophelia showing off the gains again. The muscle, Nez just kind of standing there, uh, went for the 
back fist and did not complete that. Gets another short arm clothesline. She's going to step over and lifts her up. And another one. Oh, we're going for the, the trifecta of short arm clotheslines going on there. Collar and elbow throws her into the corner. It's the midsection. Nice little backflip and charges in again. Nobody home. Knocks her head on that middle turnbuckle and now gets that face wash. And this is how Trevor won his match a little earlier tonight. Just washing that face, making him bleed. But this time it did not make her bleed. Nez letting her up, walking around. Oh, grabs from behind, taking her for a little stroll. And off the ropes and over the top rope with a huge big boot. And now going off the ropes and a tope cornido right over the top, dropping down Ophelia. All right, and the ref just kind of like, all right, I'm here. And our announcers out there just kind of. Uh, I don't even know those three's names. But Nez going to the top kind of fast. Spinning wheel kick from the top rope. And pointing at Ophelia like she's saying. Stay down. Ophelia kicks her in the head for her problems. Back elbow. Kicks. Kicks. More kicks. Excuse me if you heard that burp. Off the... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, went for that knee again. A little Lutez biting action all right and then beats her head off the mat and bites her again and beats her head off the mat some more and Nez has to get free and breath is kind of like the fuck just happened you know what this is i've seen this before she's about to get some head butts ain't she yep just just repeated butts of the head Well, now has her locked up, throws her into the corner. Ooh, it's the midsection, and oh god! And now was she biting her hand? I'm I'm not sure what just happened there. I know she's getting the hell kicked out of her at the moment. And then blows her a little love, just just a little love. <laughs> Oh man. And now has her up with the power slam. And up to the top rope. And she kips up and does a little taunt. Like she doesn't see her there. So she gives her a fist to the face for all of her problems. Now, collar and elbow. Ooh, the first one right to the midsection. Lifts her up on the shoulder. Ooh, drops her down. A little waistline action. Now I'm going to stretch her. You know, you got to stretch during these matches. Make sure all your pieces work. Stretched out correctly. Uh, elbow. Another one. And then washes the face a little bit with the bottom of her boot. Now going... Oh, big knee to the face there. Could have broken her nose. And now going for a little stroll to the ropes. Grabs her up. Oh, knocks Nez out of the ring. Off the rope she goes. And a tope suicida through the bottom rope. Getting the crowd on her side. Lifts Nez up. The ref can't really do anything, just letting it go. As Nez is still feeling the effects of the last couple of minutes. And a chair has entered the fray. And she took that chair to the cranium. Ooh. Jesus. Hello? Oh, okay. And there's that knee running her over again. And lets her stand up and then dongs her with the chair. But I mean, Ophelia also donged herself. That chair is folded the fuck up. Um, Ophelia also on her entrance hit herself in the head with the chair. So you're not sure how much that actually did. Um, hello? Hello? Who just barely missed the chair with that stomp? We're going for the pin here. One. Barely a one count. 
Wow. Uh, she's got her work cut out for her, it seems. Now lifts her up. Going full, throws her into the corner. And now throwing hands. Just the hands, just the hands. Backs up. What's she going for here? She does a little taunt to the crowd. And then run. Oh! Not, I, she might have been going for the Meteora, but caught the fist instead. And now the big back suplex with the kip up into the leg drop. Nice combination move there. And oh, uh, rude, rude. This kicks her in the mouth. And now it looks like, oh, okay. I was about to say more to. All right, we don't see this often. She went and got the ring steps. This, uh, this could suck. As Nez saw her, gets back in the ring, and, um, hello? Hello? That is steps that... Oh. Oh, she might be dead. The crowd, oh, and with it, that she just got powerbombed through the steps. Ooh, big knee. Another big knee taking her down. And, oh, Ophelia kicks up. Ooh, big back elbow kick. Kick. Oh, she's just throwing hands now. Ooh. Oh, God. Trying to break her back and then just tosses her like a sack of bread. And off the rope she goes. And I tope coming her though. Using the top rope to give that little extra wee. And now with the collar and elbow on the outside, nothing the ref can do. This is one of those type of matchups. Oh God! Just dumped her on the apron. Like, okay. And ooh, I thought she was going to throw her into the thing there, but oh, Philly is really going after the toys here. Brings out the ladder. Now I'm gonna shove that in the ring. Nez is up again. Uh, oh boy, I thought she was about to use that ladder against her. Um, um, who just missed the ladder with that two hand choke slam? Lifts her up, sends her into the corner. Table, or not the table. Oh, that's pretty bad from earlier. Just punches, kicks, knife edge, chops, stomps. All of it. And she is laying on the ladder. Um, this could suck. Oh, boy. On the ladder. One, two. Jesus Christmas. Just busted and broken on the ladder. Ooh. Into the pin. One. Two. And the crowd chanting, this is awesome. This Nez might be out. Like her arm is folded. And now I'm going to lift her up. She's really using that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do not. Yep. Jesus Christ. Right on the ladder again. This is. Wow. Nez is really having a moment here. Nez breaks free from Ophelia's grasp. Ooh, big knee. And Jesus, a short arm closed on one the ladder. Made the ladder freak out. A good shot of the crowd as they're watching. Oh, I thought it was a buckle bomb. Oh no, just ooh, deposits her into the corner. Lifts her up. And just throws her amongst all that mess. Stairs look like they went flying out the ring. Oh, everybody. Oh, no, that was the forearm. I thought it was the pounce. <laughs> Boss would have been happy, you know, if they had been the pounce. You know, he might. Yeah. He, he, he's been using the pounce. He's like the only person I've ever seen. But anyway, back to the match. Ooh, I feel you with the reversal. Went to throw a hand. Oh, kick to the midsection. And she caught her again. 
Uh oh, boy, I thought she was gonna flip. You, you know, you see her flip. Oh, um, she's dead. She's got to be dead. There's, there's no other way. She just spiked her head on that ladder, or she could still be kicking. Crouch, <laughs> holy shit! And I have to agree with him. Oh my goodness, this is wild. Off the ropes, getting a little more momentum as she went. Uh oh, got a little too overzealous and got sent outside the ring as Nez is looking under the ring for some goodies. Finds her a shovel. And oh my lord, did you hear that shot? That shot sucked. It sounded. Mm -mm. Nah, I'll fight. Well, that's what they're doing. Now at that point you gotta go get the blam blam. Oh, kick to the hell! There is a shovel there. Well, she just made the shovel kip up. Ophelia might be damaged in the head after that. Ooh, and then a sick kick. Pinned or you know two? Only a two count. I was gonna say there's no work break, but the pin happened so fast. Crowd is really behind this one. Great match to have right in the middle of the card. And now there is a table at play. You know how the crowd loves the tables. And ooh, throws Ophelia hard into the corner. I'm not sure what Nez is going for here. She sets up the table. Um, hello? Oh. No. No, no. That's... That's not okay. The... The... Cra oh. Um. Oh, no. I agree with you, crowd host. But Ophelia kips up as Nez looked like she was... Like she... Oh, Nez didn't know that she was going to get up from that. And she spikes her hard right on her head. Oh, and now she got her in that sleeper. It might be night night time, even though her back probably smells like Burger King. And Nez is she and Nez is able, ooh, able to escape, gives a big elbow to the temple of her head. Oh, spins her around. Uh oh, she was gonna go for it again and spike her on that table. Sling blade action. And a drop kick to the face. But now just throwing hands again. Punches, punches, punches. Oh, we're gonna end it with a slap, huh? Oh, kip up. Ooh, big knee. Was shot to the face. And ooh. Round out and turned her inside out with that. And the sick kick might be making another appearance. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. We traveling around the world. I've been around. I've been around the world. And slides into the pen. She's trying to make sure that she's not getting up. And there it is. Phew. Oh, hell of a matchup that just happened right there. Who is your winner? And still the eminence champion. And she snatched it away from the referee. The villain. Nez. Ah, that was a hell of a matchup. Congratulations to her. one more one more game, as they say. Uh you, that was woo! That's what an extreme rules match is supposed to be like. But congratulations as we continue on with the night. And now, Kobe to Seoul coming to the ring to face off for the Women's Tag Team Championships. And there they come. And these two have a, a bit of a history. Um, they're 
be like frenemies kind of <laughs> oh man you can tell that they're good friends but at the same time um they do have their issues but that's with all friends you know what i'm saying with my best friend i have those same types of issues so with that in mind we will see if these two can uh overcome um and become the women's tag team champions men's tag team champions chips were defended on voltage a couple of weeks ago where the kingdom reclaimed the tag team titles and we're gonna see if sunshine and oh no, i don't know i i had her name <laughs> oh don't kill me i don't want to die Yumiko, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right, but, um, and then here you have Amber Blackwell and Paige in front of me. We have not seen Paige since, um, their last title defense, and it looks like she's been through something. Uh, hey, you know, there's a lot going on with these two, but there are those straps around their waist, the tag team titles. And we're going to see if they can, uh, if they can defend them in this extreme rules matchup. And that's the type of matchup it is. It is a tornado tag, but it is also, um, extreme rules. So, we will see. If they are able to successfully defend again the women's tag team championships or whether sunshine and Eco are able to grab them so here we go and they're starting off kind of hot mm, ammo with the big throw And oh, big back body drop there. Going at it here. And Paige not wasting any time. Trying for the pin. Did barely got a one count. And now takes her. Oh, deposits her hard on those knees. And now throws her outside of the ring. Remember. This can, you know, weapons can be used the whole nine. And separating them might be a good way to go with the fall away slam. You know? I mean, in these type of matches, and they're doing stereo moves, not even looking at each other. And now trying to really stretch her out there. Oh my goodness. And Amber is out there throwing knees. It looks like Kevin Dunn is in the booth today because there's a whole bunch of jump shaking and camera cuts. Unico mm. throwing hands. But that DDT, she had no way of protecting herself. Unico with the kick to the gut. Kicks to the midsection and throws Paige by her hair. It goes outside the ring. It's time to get some toys to play with. Ooh, boy, she had bad intentions for that. She gets thrown just about back into the ring. A big knee. It just powers her up. Oh, takes her over. Oh, my goodness, drops her down. And the sling blade throws her. Amber is really just, oh wow. And going, oh, there was water in the pool. She just somehow missed the pool. Oh, but caught her in the back there. Shoots her over and goes for the pin. One, two, only a two count. Oh, she went for the sledgehammer. 
hit her on my arm. Oh boy. Slid right into that kick. One, two. It's still only a two count. And a little bit too much taunting. Oh, what are we going for? Oh. Um, I'm sorry, excuse me? I don't think that's how people work. Goes for the pin. A big shot there. One, two. Only a two count. And Paige was beside herself. Couldn't figure out which way she wanted to go. Ooh. Oh, big neck breaker. She went and grabbed a bat. Mmm. Sunshine. Wee! That shot. Oh, there it is. If you're batting a thousand over there, just going to work with it. Mm, mm, mm. And what a moonsault. And into the pin. And Paige is caught up out there. And the whole oh, wow. Kobe <laughs> Tuzio. Managed to pick up the win with that one. I mean, she was going to work with that bat outside the ring, and that was the I'm, that was the distraction right there. She saved her from being pinned there, and then if they'll show it, yep, that big moonsault caught her. And there you go, the new women's world tag team champions, Sunshine and Yumiko. Congratulations on grabbing the tag titles. Wow. <laughs> so, the Batman of Pete of NHW. And now this matchup following um, that crazy tag team title match, women's tag team title match that we just had. This is Rick Richards coming to the ring, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's him. And he will be fighting AJ Adams. And he will be fighting um, AJ Adams for, um, or not for anything, that I'm aware of, but they will be fighting in a tables match, so, you know, that's a thing, um, we'll have to see exactly what happens with that, um, who's, okay, yeah, but anyway, um, we'll have to, uh, um, see what happens with this match, um, and, uh, hey, yeah, Rick Richards has been, you know, he's been holding his own here, uh, two and one record, and somehow him and AJ Adams just found themselves in a, um, in a cluster, f I don't even know what happened, like, they just started having hands, and now they're here on the pay-per-view to blow off some steam in the tables match, well, somebody gotta go through a table, and, um, AJ Adams coming to the ring, and if this was not supposed to be your music, uh, I apologize because I did not check before you came out. I know you sent me a custom theme. My bad, good sir. I do not like how that is faded. I have said that multiple times. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, anyway, coming to the ring, as I said, is AJ Adams, and he is rocking, sporting a new look. It's been a little while since we've seen him, a couple weeks. And, uh, yeah, he changed up a little bit on us. We're here for it. Probably we pay him the big bucks. We like to see them expand that creativity a little bit. And as he comes to the ring, uh, it's got to be going through their mind. I don't think we've had, in three seasons, I don't think we've had but maybe like two table matches. Two. So these guys are in rare company. And if you can go back and find them, Good luck to you. I don't know what to say after that. But um, speaking off of this, on the next Voltage, we will find out who that was that attacked the Ego Powers uh, the other week on Voltage. 
uh, just one by one, knocking them over the head with a chair. Uh, that was probably not a fun time, especially when you threw the boss through a table. He's a little pissed, uh, and Justice won't give him any information, so that's fun. Anyway, now these guys are throwing hell, oh my god, and there's no time limit, but at the same time, if you go through a table good and early, I don't think there needs to be one as he catches him with the springboard cutter. And now trying to pull his arm out of place. Damn, Jesus, that right hand is rude. Spins him around, drops him down. And again, no pin, falls, submissions, or knockouts in this one. This is straight up, bust your opponent upside the head and send him through a table. Mm. And that DDT was flush. Bullseye. And AJ seems to have leaned up a little bit. Gotten into that gym a little harder, you know. Oh! Rick Richards off the ropes in the big knee. A half and half suplex he hit him with. Now shushing the crowd as he sends him for the neck breaker. And AJ had uh, AJ Adams. Wee! AJ Adams has had some notable matches against the likes of the television champion. Um, he's also fought, I'm pretty sure, the new European champion. Uh I think it's time for him, you know what I mean? Um, he might have fought Trevor Hannibal. Hell, I don't remember who all he's fought. But anyway, now with that uh, that arm pulling back nice and hard, trying to uh, weaken him a little bit. That arm bar action, but that's what it's about right there. That piece of wood. Nope, the joke's there wood. Oh boy, I got. I was like, what he about to do? Uh oh. Uh, ran his head straight into it and drop kicked him, but the table didn't break. It sure hell moved, but it didn't break. And now, calling for AJ to get up. AJ obliges. And the blockbuster, but Rick landed on the table and shot himself back up. Oh, big leg drop. From the top. <laughs> and now, excuse me. Uh oh, he well, was stalking him, ready to hit him with something, but it didn't work out in his plan. And now, taking him for a stroll. Ooh. Deposits him on that to top rope, and now introduces his head real intimately to the, to the mat with the bottom rope, the springboard, the moon assault. AJ gonna set up the, the table, possibly for the contract signing. Oh, he just oh, see, oh, see this one. I'm talking about. He out here trying to do extra. And AJ not happy that he uh, messed up what he was trying to do, so he's gonna give him that big belly to belly suplex. And drops the arm, drops the knee on the arm. <laughs> I don't English very well. And then just probably broke his fingers on the ground. Because we are back in the ring. And oh man. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh he just missed the table. I thought he was going to do that through the table. And now trying to pull that arm out of place. Well he had the other one in the arm bar. Now trying to pull that out. That's a big fall away slam, but sir, you missed it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, okay. Double underhook DDT busted open AJ. AJ has been on our screens a few times here. Uh, let's see, where is he at? AJ Adam, he's had seven matches. This will actually make number eight. Ooh. Oh man. Oh, that's a German. That's gonna suck. Oh, wait a minute. 
AJ Adams with the big German suplex, sending Rick Richards through the table. Congratulations to AJ Adams on <laughs> the winning like the third ever tables match. Congratulate hey, yeah. We got the world title match next. Announcer man, do your thing. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the world's heavyweight championship. And that is correct. This is for who? Ooh, the World Heavyweight Championship, and it is a little weird to see Ray Lethal without that championship around his waist, but it happened at the last pay-per-view. Uh, Ray Lethal lost the championship to Jason Parker. And Jason Parker's two-year journey towards a world title finally came to a conclusion when he was able to win that the big one. Um, going through rivalries with Ken Washington and and, and the breakup of uh, of his old faction uh, and all of that, everything, all the animosity and all of it, just to become the NHW World Champion. I mean, he says he's the face of NHW, and right now that cannot be disputed, even though he's got his sights set on the healthiest of men since his return to NHW and that is Ray Lethal and let's be clear there is also uh, Stefan Sugar Hill uh, gotta be lurking somewhere but you know he's probably more concerned with who busted him over the head uh, last week or week before whichever one it was uh, but anyway now coming to the ring is the current reigning defending NHW World Heavyweight Champion and that is Jason Parker and this man uh, Samoan Bulldozer sure we can have that name but anyway coming to the ring and we'll see what he can do if he's going to be able to get past Ray Lethal because Ray Lethal is a hard dude to beat. Let's just be honest. Who has beaten Ray Lethal? Uh, J.D. Shadow actually pinned Ray Lethal himself, Jason Parker, and J.D. Shadow. That's been about it. RJ Kidd gave him a hell of a fight, but uh, that move of his, that finishing move, just, you know, you just listen, he dumps you on the back of your neck and then puts his leg over you and makes sure you don't go nowhere. You really, there's nothing much you can say about that. But anyway, Jason Parker, is, uh, he's been, you know, talking to the boss a lot since they, I guess, reconciled uh, about that world title. And uh, since reconciling, you know, he's uh, he's excited about being the world champion. Uh, he probably could have talked to the GM first. I'm sure Justice had some words that he wanted to say, but. Um, you can't even get the culture to show up to. So, anyway, um, we're not talking about that. What we're talking about is this. Is the semi main event and following behind this is Cassidy Lee or Cassidy Ray, whichever you would like her to be called, going up against Cheryl Malone for the third and final time behind the Women's World Championship. But this is for the Men's World Championship. Introducing the challenger from Dallas. Weighing in at 336 pounds, <laughs> the tag way. And introducing the champion from Cape Town, South Africa, weighing in at 307 pounds. He is the world's heavyweight champion, Jason. Parker. That's over 600 pounds of beef in the ring right now. Please don't break the ring. And there it is, the NHW World's Championship. There is a real one. If you look at 
the NH Wrestling Call Twitter. Uh, the real one was made, and yeah, <laughs> it's it's a legit it's a legit piece of gold. Anyway, here go these two men, and here we go. And you know that Cody Yamamoto is watching this, even though he just suffered a weird loss earlier. And Ray Lethal not even bothering to pull the straps up on the singlet. Just going to let them hang as they may. And this is... What the hell? Okay, Ray. We see you with your agility for 300 pounds. We No water in the pool. Yo, did he just punch him in the nuts? I mean, I know this is false count anywhere, but what's going on right now? These two are just after it. And, oh, God, false count anywhere. All things are considered. And, hey, guess what? You can be knocked the fuck out. Um, so, you know, let's get to work. Uh-oh. You went for that a little too soon. I caught that. Fisherman suplex and that big belly to belly into the pen. I was gonna start counting. And oh my lord! I'm not sure what Ray Lethal was doing, but I know he we caught that knee like he caught that fist and a one count administered. And ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, look at the power! Oh. Drops him down. I'm not sure if he was trying to complete a German and just couldn't get it. But again, there's over 600 pounds of big standing there and i of beef in the ring. And these two are probably going to be fighting it out. Again, they can go wherever they want to. And now just tossing hands. Oh, spine buster action. And slides into the pin. Not a bad move to try to get a pin off of. But you still only got a one count. And Jason Parker now. On the offensive. Trying to get him to tap. And there is no rope break. So Ray can grab from the ropes all he wants. And ain't going to stop him. Ooh, ooh, takes him down. And oh boy. And an overhead belly down. That suplex just dumps him down. And now just running his forearm across his face. Catches a kick to the side of his head for good measure. Make sure that reverses. Oh, there's the spear. There is the spear. Was not expecting it into the pin. One, two, and only a two count. And that's one of the reasons why Ken Washington doesn't use the spear anymore. He he gave it up actually. Because of people like Jason Parker and Furious Frank who used the spear. Nice uh, hip toss takeover. Um, he just thought it was a saturated move. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he dropped him on his neck. His face. The ref, you should be on the other side. What the hell? Oh, wow. We, we need to get somebody medically out there to check on Ray. Because... I mean, like, I was not expecting that to be what stopped him. I mean, it, he I mean, he did dump him straight on his face, and there was no way for him to protect himself. But uh, the spear first, not expecting that at all. Yeah, he, oh, he just planted, he's out. Somebody check on Ray. Um, um, sir? Hello? Get Wow. Okay. Jason having a, a, a bit of a moment there. Still the champion though. C congrats, Jason. Uh. Oh. Okay. Why is he running? Okay. Good, good. Cut, cut the cat. Let's get to the. Let's get them out of the ring so we can get to the main event. Possibly. Maybe. That's, that's that's what I feel like we should no we're gonna stay congratulations champ the following contest is a false count anywhere match and is for the women's 
And you heard it there from the announcer. This match is going to go wild. Falls count anywhere. Fight all over the arena if you so choose. But this is her last shot. Cassidy Rain or Cassidy Lee is what she's going by now. Um, I don't, I don't, I mean, she's probably been coached up by her by her mom but I mean this is her third opportunity in as many months at the title because she has she's actually won her way to him you know what I'm saying um, the last match she was in was in a it was literally like two people with great records and two former champions and she was one of the former champions chosen and she had a victory boom that's how she got here but this is Cheryl and Cassidy 3. This is the third time they have met over the NHW Women's World title. And we will see if she can get it done, you know. And now on her way to the ring is Cheryl Malone. And ladies and gentlemen, she has been very prominent in holding that NHW Women's World title. Um, she hasn't wanted to give it up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, she's been holding on to it for months now since her cash-in against Cassidy Ring. Um, and so that's why this is kind of a, you know, come around, you know, our main event tonight is this women's match. And it, to me, it's a big deal because this is the last time these two will face off over that title. Um, so either Cheryl retains or Cassidy regains. Why me accidentally? But either way, we will have to see um, what happens. Remember, they can fight all over the joint. So, you know, they go up the ramp and throw each other off. That's just what happens. I'm going to let the announcer man do his thing. Do his thing. Introducing the challenger from Chinatown, New York, Cassidy. And introducing the champion from London, England. She's the women's world champion. Beautiful bombshell, Cheryl Malcolm. And that's kind of a slap in the face, if you think about it. <laughs> uh, this is how she's showing it off there. Again, this is the title that she took from her. So, you know, there's a lot of history between these two. And this is a false count anywhere match. Beat each other until you can't see straight. If that's what you feel you gotta do. And there we go, the ref. Ooh. And Cassidy. Oh, good God. Starting off hot with the backbreaker. Hit her joints jump a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, kick to the gut. Mm. Takes her down. And this is a Falls Count Anywhere match. I don't think rope break is on. Cassidy on top of it right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, missed the foot stomp. Now caught by Cheryl who takes her up. And just going to, you know, hold her up there for a while. Walk around a little bit. Showing that strength and drops her down after letting all that blood go to her head. Now going to power her up into the power slam. Straight into the pin. Good. One. Two. Only a two count though. I mean, they could decide to have a regular old match. But this is a false count anywhere match. Another power slam, but does not go for the pin this time. Gets up and puts the whole body splash on her. Tries for another one. Went to the well one too many times. 
Oh, now nah, Cassidy. Uh oh. Oh, they're reversing each other, but I mean, they do know each other very well. Oh boy, the capture. Capture suplex center up and over. And now takes her up again. Oh, she's going to do it again. She's just out here showing all the power, huh? And oh, God, drops her down. And now lifts her up. Ooh. Was going to go for a little uh, reverse DDT, but uh, that was not the case. That crucifix, though, was on the point. Ooh. Well, downward spiral action. One, two. And only a two count there. And again, these two know each other so well. This is legit their third one on one contest over this same championship. And oh, the drop kick to the back. Doing a little taunting to the crowd. And she introduces her head to the mat multiple times. And now taking a trip to the top rope and Cheryl's like, no, nah, I'm going to get up out the way. Never mind, she hit her with the cross body. Flush. Now throws her. Wee! Out of the ring we go. And now kicking the inner thigh. Trying to give a little Charlie horse, you know, take away some of that power. And Cheryl wants to do this in the ring. All right. Ooh. Took her down by her hair. And this is legal. Lifting Cheryl up and ooh, hit her with the knee into the poison. Rami slides into the pin. Here we go. One, two, only a two count. And oh, 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 ooh, takes her down and ooh, nope, never mind. Gets free, oh my lord. And now just slings her around. Oh, dumps her down. And kicked up a little dirt and off the rope she goes. Up and down hard. And gonna do it again. Oh my goodness. A third time. And no water. In the pool for that third go. And takes her up. Ooh. And going straight to the top rope after that. She's telling Cheryl to get up. And a big drop kick hit her right in the face. One. Two. And still only a two count, and I don't know what else Cassidy can do here. And now throwing those, uh oh. Oh no, she got her, mm, drops her down. And there is no rope, babe. She can have her in the corner all day, but she manages to kick out at the count of two. And now gonna step on her back. Oh, okay. Ooh. Um. Hit her with that again. Now gonna lift her up. Snap me off the rope and just put all of her weight on her one time and has her up again. It dumps her down one more time. Here we go. One, two. No, we are still only at a two. And the crowd chanting one more time as Cassidy manages to kick out. And Cassidy was doing some. Oh, caught her with the cutter. 
Oh, that was right into the pin. Jesus, could she have hooked her head leg a little harder? And we are still at a two count. Mmm. That kick to the head. And what is this here now? Is that a STF like maneuver? Okay. I mean, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. She manages to escape. And now going to the top rope. And, ooh, no water in the pool. So close, but yet so far away. And, ooh, just tossed her over. Mm. Steps on the arm, lifts her up. Not sure what she's going for here. Mm, throws her into the corner. Mm. Right back on the attack. And throws her into the other corner. She's going to do it again. Oh, God, just slapped her. And now you're going to hold that buckle bomb. Shoots her over and hits the pin. One, two, three, and holy shite. That match was something. <laughs> Good lord, that match was something. These two went at it. Everything they could. And put it all out there. Neither woman has anything to be ashamed of. Um. I mean, she survived both of those. But hey, it is what it is. Congratulations to Shell on retaining her championship. And uh, hey, we'll see you next week for Voltage and In Your House, or possibly two In Your Houses. Who knows? I'm not quite sure yet because the women are owed a couple of shows to catch up. But anyway. That's where we are, and this is where we're at. Congratulations, Cheryl, one more time. Good night, everybody.